Good morning everyone, welcome to our uh, daily free show uh, from Monday to Friday 8 a.m. I have a free video for you on YouTube, thank you all for watching and today I would like to uh, talk a little bit about the state of the market and uh, uh, lots of comments that uh, we are going into a bear market, something like that and uh, or that we are on a bear market uh, and um, uh, I would like to, to review with you some of the index, some of the names and um, uh, stay tuned. So let's move into those charts and starting with the first one, starting with the SP500. Uh, so SP500 basically, um, uh, yesterday made a bearish reversal candle what does this mean? It means that on the short term we are vulnerable for a possible downside, okay? But we need continuation. So yesterday, what happened? SP500 hit new all-time highs, 37.12, and from there push back below a uh, previous day uh, low and gone back all the way engulfing the uh, uh, Tuesday action. So that's kind of bearish, okay? But um, uh, we are still above the 8 day moving average. So even after uh, SP500 crashed below the um, 8 day moving average, it pushed back above and closed at 36.72, just above 36.70, the 8 day moving average. So just to put things in perspective, uh, we are still above the 8 day moving average and the move was way too much extended. So see what happened after we get a, an extended move we can have periods of volatility on the uh, some pullback, some correction, but on the end, what happened after the September uh, uh, correction, after the October correction, we resume back into new all-time highs. So yes, we can start here a leg of a possible pullback, a possible cor correction, but what I'll be looking First, we need below yesterday lows, below 36.60. So below 36.60, what I'll be looking? I'll be looking for 21 day moving average around 36.16. And below that, what we have? We have the biggest wall around 35.50. That's a retest on the October highs. So those are the levels that I will be looking for a possible pullback. But once again, we need below 36.60 first to go into 36.16 and um, below that we have 35.50 as possible support so stay tuned for that looking for another one nasdaq nasdaq was the biggest uh, uh, mover for downside going more down more than two percent uh, and um, after yesterday hit new all-time highs it pushed back below the eight day moving average and yes that's the one that on short term is vulnerable what does this mean? It means that we close below the 8 moving average on the short term, you stay out, you be careful, you manage your risk because things are vulnerable for possible pullback continuation. So what uh, we need, we need below 12,300 uh, to go all the way into 12,200. Below that, I have possible support around 11. 900 okay so that's the, the 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 levels that i'll be looking so let's look into uh, some of the names and see how much extended they were for example small caps they were really really extended look for the move from the uh, october lows all the way from 151 all the way into 192.81. So the move was too much extended. After such a big move, it's normal to have a pullback. But even though small caps are still above the 8 moving average. So what we need to start a bigger correction ahead. First, we need below the 8 moving average. We need small caps. We need IWM below 186. Below 186, we have $180. That's the first target okay so if we go below 186 watch out for a possible six dollars drop so let's look for some more names uh, uh, for example apple apple that made a bearish reversal candle and uh, yesterday but it was expectable why one of the things on the last videos uh, that i made about um, uh, the fang stocks and looking for apple i said that one to five was a big wall and for the bull case we need to go and stay above one to five uh, 39 
Yesterday we hit 12595, it was just slightly above and pushed back below. And after that, we crossed below the Tuesday highs and pushed back lower. What does this mean? It means that um, uh, sellers are uh, um, pushing the stock down. And um, um, uh, what you should look, you should look for the 8 day moving average. Exactly what happened. 1 to 197. And we just closed below that. What does this mean? In the short term, we are vulnerable for a pullback. Day 1 on the pullback. What I'll be looking below 1 to 1, I'll be looking 119.9 and 117.4. And from there, we will evaluate, okay? So, looking for uh, uh, some other names, we have clues, okay? For example, Netflix. Netflix gave the bearish reversal signal here on um, uh, Tuesday and uh, just gave... <coughs> A, a, a further pullback confirmation yesterday okay so we have clues on on the market and uh, for example facebook exactly the same thing gave here a pause and a bearish candle on tuesday and uh, yesterday bearish reversal candle push above back below cross below the 821 and uh, 50 day moving average so uh, yes we are vulnerable on the short term let's look for another name for example tesla tesla that um, uh, made a bearish reversal candle uh, but look for the move after we break out here that was the breakout point for another 40 dollars that was the breakout point look how much extended we were from 440 dollars all the way into 654 so it's normal to have this kind of pullbacks correction and um, for example on um, uh, tesla what i'll be looking uh, stock uh, yes they cross made a, a bearish engulfing candle for two days of action were engulfed in one day so that's very very bearish uh, but for the bear case continuation we need below 588 and below 58 we have this gap to get filled here and we have a possible support all the way to 44 uh, 545 uh, 550 dollars so stay tuned for that possible pullback so uh, as you see um, uh, uh, we are not still falling apart we are in a normal and healthy pullback and uh, yes we can start a correction something like happened on september on october but once again we need to see it and see how the things work very very extended okay uh, um, sp500 was almost 500 uh, um, uh, uh, 500 points higher from the uh, uh, October lows. So now we need to see if we are going uh, uh, into the next key levels and start breaking down the points. Okay. Uh, otherwise, manage your risk on the short term and uh, play safe. Okay. So if you missed the, the last videos, uh, please uh, subscribe to the free YouTube channel. It's free. Turn notifications on so you can receive the next uh, video. 8 a.m from Monday to Friday I try to help everyone out okay so we shall get trading stay safe and one of the most important things of all be happy trading thanks everyone bye bye see you